Hey everybody, Matt here. Thanks for stopping by and welcome to Imagine Then Make. In this video, we're going to look at using layers in LibreCAD. All right, just to wrap up this video, I'm sure it's gone way long. I appreciate it if you've listened this far. Uh, I, I hope you get the idea that there's a lot you can do with layers. The important thing is to understand how they work and, um, and to get practice at using them, particularly moving drawing entities from one layer to another. That's a little tricky, but I've shown it a couple of times here, so hopefully you can follow along step by step and get comfortable doing it yourself. Now, just for one last little thing for those that have really paid close attention when i drew these first three stars you probably saw me tinker with the line thickness so for example on the first on layer number one first version the layer attributes has the line width at the default value which is most likely the thinnest line my computer hardware can draw. For the second version, the line attributes, the line width rather, was set at one millimeter. But when you look at the screen, it doesn't look like the red line is any thicker than the white line. And also, the third version, I had set the line width to two millimeters. And again, the line on the that's displayed on the screen doesn't appear to be any thicker. The green line's not thicker than the red one or the white one. So what's the deal with the line thickness? Well, what happens is that when you go to do a print preview, so here's the first version of the star, and it happens to be being displayed on a letter size piece of paper, which in the United States is eight and, a half, eight and a half inches by 11, and it's set up in portrait mode. I'm in inches. LibreCAD went ahead and calculated the scale so that the one star would fit on one piece of letter size paper. And you can see the line thickness that the star is being drawn with. Now, if I add to that the second version, which is the red star, I think you can see that the, the red line is a little thicker than, well, it looks like the black line on the screen. And that's because the layer attributes the layer, the line width on this second layer was set at one millimeter. The third version of the star has the line width set at two millimeters. So even though the displayed line width doesn't change, it does show up when you go to print. So I just wanted to, to complete that thought for you, for anybody that was following closely along and realized, hey, how come the line thickness isn't any different on the screen? Because you did indeed chose a thicker line width for that particular layer. Well, that's why it doesn't show up until you actually go to print. All right. So if you've listened this far, I genuinely appreciate it. I have done my best to try and show you how to use layers, get you started, maybe get you a little bit curious about what you could do with layers. So now it's kind of up to you. You can go ahead and follow along and do step by step what I did and uh, see if you get the same result. And hopefully that gets you enough background and enough confidence so that you can go on and use layers when you create your own drawings. As usual, thanks very much for watching.